enero. of Foyd's previous editions in Delhi and subsequently in Mumbai. It was time again for two days full of festivities to celebrate the creative world of interior designing and architecture in India. The Festival of Architecture and Interior Designing 2016 Delhi edition. This is very encouraging. It's a different platform and the best part about this is they are not uh, driven by greed, it's it's a very limited number of people who participate in this and these people are the thinkers, be it the manufacturers or the participants and uh, I'm sure they'll go a long way. Foyd has created a platform which is unique because um, it's a selection of people and who come together from all different aspects, whether it's architecture and design and beyond. <laughs> This edition too was a mix of many events, discussions, debates, talks and competitions, design installations, presentations celebrated for two days. You need only about 5% of India's landmass to put, to put a quarter of a million families in that kind of an environment. This is a great platform in terms of meeting the right people, exposure to the right kind of products and kind of the faculty overall. It's educative in a sense to be able to go through so many different kinds of projects uh, by doing so many different kinds of people. I mean, I think the student projects were, I think, as interesting as the finished built projects because a lot of it is about ideas, you know, and ideas are interesting to, uh, for another architect to connect with. We walked around the uh, uh, material display which they were good products so as a combination of where students and the industry and the professionals come together it's an interesting uh, uh, thought the festival saw creative minds students upcoming architects and interior designers and well-known people from the indian architecture and design fraternity come together and discuss new trends in the field a nice platform uh, to bring the various disciplines and the profession together and connect them. For it is working very hard to reinvent themselves every year. They're coming out with formats which are uh, more and more innovative and it also gives a platform for the fraternity to meet up. Great platform. It's been uh, progressing every year. This is the third year now. We've been attending all the foids earlier. It's a great platform to bring in professionals of, from diverse fields, uh, beginning with architects, interior designers, even uh, industry professionals, and come and discuss and debate on topics which are very, very relevant to today. FOID 2016 was not only about celebrating the works of the established names in the industry, but it also gave immense opportunity to the young talent to showcase their raw ideas and also learn from techniques from the masters of design. A popular attraction of the festival was the design arena where these budding architects and next-gen designers displayed their installations depicting their ideas. One thing which I was very, very uh, enamored by was, you know, these young girls had come up with a crystal which actually uh, has light on it and the light is reflected in the entire structure and building and it looks, it will be very soothing to see and it's very cost effective. When you have student installations right at the center in the design arena, first of all they were very creative, they were extremely innovative, you are giving the students a lot of confidence to be right at the center of where architects who have been experiencing making architecture also a part of the entire show. What Fohead has achieved here with, uh, with an eclectic mix of different uh, events where you are able to see really the student talent 
you are able to see the young and upcoming works of Indian architects, you get an international global exposure of the work there and then you are seeing more established firms across India. I think as a concept again it's very good because I uh, would assume that when one goes around one sort of shares experiences and also gets a look and feel of what is the capability and trend of the emerging uh, I would say a stream of students that are now uh, budding uh, architects in future. The visitors were enthralled to witness the works of stalwarts which were displayed at the design arena. There were display panels showcasing built and unbuilt projects of well-known architects and designers from all across the country aiming to inspire aspiring designers and architects. It's wonderful to have a singular area where you can walk around and see multiple different built, unbuilt works, actual installations, uh, many different forms of design. We put out one of our IIT projects. Uh, it was a large sort of complex that was an intervention within an existing IIT zone. It meant breaking down some buildings, it meant putting up new buildings, trying to establish the sort of synergies that exist with our IIT students on that campus, how they would take to a new building or a new project on campus. In this panel is an office project. It is for a yarn supplier and the entire aspect of yarn being woven in, in the form of warp and weft into fabric. And that entire process is something that we wanted to very metaphorically present in our project. Calcutta Airport uh, was done by us uh, a couple of years ago. It was um, a project which was done for the government, uh, Airport Authority of India, and uh, we did the entire work in terms of um, architecture, landscape, structures, etc. What is nice and what we feel is unique about the project, how it has shaped up, is that how everything is seamless. It's the corporate headquarters of an outdoor advertising firm. The front facade is kind of interesting because the facade is actually trying to protect the uh, building from heat gain from the sun. And what it is, is actually a series of aluminum panels uh, who, from whom we have kind of punched out discs and reattached them on a pinwheel detail in the logo of the company. Two days of this power-packed festival celebrated the power of creativity by bringing the design fraternity together and provided a forum to showcase and acknowledge their work. For it promised its guests an insight into the world of creativity and delivered it well. FOID encompasses many events in one, including a two-day national conference. This conference witnessed six interactive panel discussions evenly spread across the two days of the festival encapsulating many topics focusing on the future of design space with engrossing discussion topics. There was a constructive discussion on as architects what we need to do tomorrow, beginning from tomorrow and a platform like FOAID helps us concise and conglomerate to our end result. It was very, uh, I think, a free going discussion, all of us by and large uh, could place everything that we had in the mind on the table and uh, at the end of the day I think uh, all of us had fun. I think it was a fabulous uh, way of sharing our thoughts not just with the panelists but also with the audience. I understand the learning part of the discussion but I still am a little uh, foxed about what is unlearning because to me there is nothing called unlearning in anything that one does in life and therefore for me life has been a journey where it's been learning, learning and learning more. I was trying to cover the topic in what way we can face the change. The change which will be uh, mostly because of the climate population explosion, all the uh, problems which we are going to face in the near future and the remedies and how we incorporate them into architecture. I feel that when you get very enmeshed in a formula, when you become very cocksure of what you're doing, when your ego overrides your creativity, what ends up happening is you stop innovating, you stop creating, you begin to work on a format. 
And a discussion like this, I think, breaks those boundaries and makes you think out of a box. Very interestingly expressed topic because Salil, who is the moderator, actually thought this up and was trying to establish the position of an architect uh, by virtue of is the architect the only guy on the project or is there a team that supports him. And I think it pretty much came across as consensus across the panel. And the panel consisted of architects, structural engineer, a client, and uh, the bottom line was that it's a collaborative process. Walkable cities is a, to my mind, uh, is a question of territory and territorializing, uh, and uh, and whether um, w the idea of walking as a form of resistance against that of territorializing a city. I think that's uh, what I took away from that conversation. Is green the new red? That was the topic of an engaging cross debate. Moderated by Kalhan Matu, you're part of the whole ecosystem. a platform to discuss some serious topics on a lighter note and to put across the points affecting the creative quotient of these ingenious thinkers. And who cannot partake in this whole growth story, do they outweigh and overweigh some of the other considerations that we have, which frankly seem a bit of intellectual indul indulgence. Green is the new red is the topic and I strongly feel it's the new red. It's killed the development in this country because there is every day there is a new firman that is being issued, uh, construction industry is being hit and everything is being blamed on the construction. Uh, you know, the way I look at things, right now this country needs development deficit to be covered. really enjoyed, um, you know, uh, this kind of situation where key issues can be debated in a light-hearted way, but uh, leave, hopefully, hopefully leave a lasting impact. It gives a sneak peek not only into the world of innovative products, but also into the minds of innovative and creative thinkers, providing these people a platform to speak about the legacy of their work and experiences through various presentations and engaging topics. Sharing insights onto things that you're not taught at architecture school was interesting because one could sort of share insights about how you grow as an architect over a you know considerable uh, time lag of two decades and what is really the gap between what's taught in theory and what really you encounter as a practicing professional. Celebrating context for us would mean taking all our values and whatever we ascribe to into the kind of work we produce. So for example, working with local material skills and uh, responding to site conditions, responding to situations. There is a challenge for us architects to not only um, discover or build a new knowledge about buildings but use every opportunity through a project to actually build knowledge among people in the process of building it. We are very sensitive to what is architecture for today's time and so you know rather than it reflecting the west or the past which is something that I always say we try and look at what is relevant today and to me that is really the big source of inspiration to all our work. So it's really about being able to find the identity for today, looking and respecting the culture of the yesterday. Amidst these panel discussions, debates and technical presentations, there was also some informal and interesting Pecha Kucha sessions. Pecha Kucha, which in Japanese means chit chat, requires each speaker to make a presentation using 20 slides within a time limit of 400 seconds. I represent it as if innovation that's inspiring instead of inspiring innovation. How the available innovation can inspire us. So for like for example from the city of Marrakesh to the blue city of Jodhpur and from uh, inspiration taken from a small element from a perfume bottle and taken inspiration from a monument like a big monument like uh, Char Minar. So you can take an inspiration from whatever is being already innovated. It was more spontaneous, more uh, what inspired me in my life. And I took inspiration from movie Shole and Gabbat which gave a very light way inspiration to a lot of people and to me also as well uh, creating how, how those things 
could be taken in a lighter way in in management of day to day life a space integrated within the design arena was dedicated to the patrons of this festival this place here showcased the latest and exciting products from varied segments which spoke a lot about their brand and how they can add value to the world of architecture and design we want to connect with architects design you know work at a very early stage with them because i think architecture also requires deep thinking about the utility of the building we also think very deeply about what the building or the space is going to be used for in a long term we are displaying laminates what stylum does into laminates and uh, adhesives flooring cladding as we are launching a new product that is solid surface so this was the india's first plant we are a company that is constantly innovating new products to the needs of the architects builders and designers so this was a unique opportunity to learn about uh, what is the architects and future building market is looking at and to gear ourselves up to be able to meet the new challenges that are coming up we actually have been working in the field of product design for the last 20 years uh for the first 15 we only uh, practiced uh, uh with international brands we've learned so much from them in terms of how do they really uh, design and develop the product so 5 years back we took a call to introduce ourselves in in india this is a great experience you know interacting with uh, the leading architects and the interior designers of the country and getting the very positive feedback about the product is really uh, very welcoming for that i got the opportunity to participate with the for for the first time this is a uh, wonderful concept of having a b2b uh, uh, communication directly speaking to the top of the designers and showcasing your product on a personalized basis is a wonderful concept we have had some interesting customers walk in find out about our products so we've had a good uh, interaction with them and i've also been managed to attend some of the conversations that were happening in the conference venue so that has also been pretty interesting and eye opener for us as a company architecture ideas 2.0 a prestigious design competition organized by team foyd and backed by burjo paints was an attempt to give a platform to young practicing architects and budding interior designers to put forth their knowledge into practice the competition provided them an opportunity to showcase their most innovative projects on a national platform in the presence of stalwarts of the architecture and design fraternity looking at the designs done by young architect and uh, they were really good uh, the way they think the way they uh, uh, look towards the problem and uh, the solutions they make out of it and the product is very nice they're doing good work depth to which each of them had gone to make the project one of its kind thinking out of the box and they managed to also get good end results a very good initiative mainly to uh, one encourage young talent for an age group less than 35 years architects you know in terms of their uniqueness and originality and i think each one of them did a great job in their concept After the two days of celebration of glory of the architectural world, this festival of architecture and interior design truly maintains its spirit. It's an excellent uh, environment that you have created, and uh, I think it's a unique, uh, unique opportunity for all of us. For it has been a very interesting platform. Um, I wish them all the best in the years to come. Foy promised its guests an insight into the world of creativity and delivered it well. Great job. Innovation. Fantastic. Exchange. Responsibility. Keep going. Inspire. Phenomenal. Excellent. Good energy. Captivating. Encouraging. Exhilarating. Great forum. Foy as the word says. A great platform to come together.